Alrighty, we are working with Mr. Teddy. So part of my shadow. I'll go away here in a second. He's doing great on leash healing. He does get a little ahead of me every now and then. I'm kind of letting him and then I'm going to scale him back. Oh, kill. Let's bring him back. Good boy. Want a nice tight heel with service dogs. Teddy, heel. Good. Little corrections and guidance. And he's really good about recovering from that. Oh, kill. This over here is hard for dogs because you see all this trash and all these smells that they could easily get into. So to add a little bit of depth to the training, I just walk him along this and if he breaks, oh, peel, heel, heel, correct it, good. Oh, peel, heel, heel, good boy. And that's tough for a lot of dogs. Good, he recovered from that beautifully. Because dogs are gonna be dogs. It's just about how they correct, or how they, uh, how they recover and how we correct in our timing. Oh, peel, heel, good boy. Teddy, down. Good. Got him able to drop the leash and create a little bit of distance. Not too much though. We still want to work on duration of his commands and if he breaks it and I'm super far away, then it takes me a lot longer to get him back where he needs to be. That is a good boy. So pretty. I bet that sunshine feels good, dude. Okay, come here. That's a boy. Good. Good. Sorry about that. Come on. And back here, good. So yeah, it, it, the training's looking really good. He really understands the vocabulary of all the commands. Um, it's just really getting some duration um, from him with these commands. We call it our, once a dog understands the vocabulary of everything and they start, uh, you know, having a lot of sessions, we want to increase what we call the three Ds, distance, duration, and distraction. Good boy. And that is for like place and downstays. Um, those are more uh, when they're not moving, obviously. We want, we want them to stay there as long as possible. And for a heel, we want to make sure that it's nice, nice and tight where he's right next to me. So as you, can, as you can see, he's moved from getting ahead of me, and now he's uh, got this nice stride right next to me. He's being a good boy. Good. Teddy, down. Good. Really quick to go down. Okay. Good. Heel, good. Kind of got ahead of me a little bit there. Helped him with that. So we tell him when we get to the door, wait. Wait for eye contact. Okay. We'll bring him over to place. Good boy, good place. We've got a distraction over here. Got another dog. Good boy. I'm going to go ahead and drop the leash and give a little bit of distance, but not much, because like I said outside, I don't want to get too far away and have him break and then it will take me twice as long to get him back to where he needs to go. So while we're building up the duration, that's, uh, we want to, you know, just take baby steps. Uh, so this is about as far as I'm going to go today, but maybe, you know, next week I'll go, go in the next room or a little bit further away every day. He's looking really awesome. Good boy, Teddy. <laughs> Good boy.